What's up, guys, and welcome back to Psychotherapy. Today we're going to do a quick test ride, on-road test ride, of the CRF300L. I bought this bike for my wife originally. She does not like it. She feels it's too tall for her. She's about 5'4", 110 pounds, 120 pounds. Uh, so I modified it and now it's mine. So what did I do? I put a KTEC suspension on it, uh, sprung for 215 pounds. If you're over 165, 170 pounds, you're gonna need to do something with the suspension. Uh, first things first, first gear runs out really quickly. It's a granny gear. It's great for off-road. Not really usable for on-road unless you're on a super steep hill. Shifts really smoothly. It's got a slipper clutch so you could uh, help out with the gear changes. Um, you just gotta manage your expectations with this bike. Every time I get on the bike, I feel on the road, doesn't have enough power. Look, I just started off in second gear there, much better. Uh, so, look, I'm on the power right now. This is everything it's got. But, you know, it's a four-stroke, 300cc engine, not high performance. Service intervals are 8,000 miles. So, you know, it's just a super reliable, not high performance bike. It's gonna get you from point A to point B and never break down. And that's kind of why I think I'm gonna keep this bike. You're not power wheeling this bike. It's not winning any races. I would say 55 to 60 miles an hour is the cruising range. That's where it's comfortable, 55, 60. Anything more than that, the engine definitely starts to struggle. Very smooth gear changes. The one thing though is when you come to a full stop and if you're not already in the gear you want to be in, like first gear or second gear, it gets kind of clumsy going from like fourth to second, let's call it. So there's a straightaway coming up that we did uh, a 50 mile an hour roll with the KTM 500 EXCF. And I think we hit like 92, 93 miles an hour on a 50 mile an hour roll in a couple seconds with the KTM. I'm gonna do the same thing with this bike and you're gonna see any, like after 50 miles an hour, this thing, it just, it's, it's flat. All right, let me get into the right RPM range. It's right after this hill. So we'll do fifth gear, kind of right in the middle. This is annoying too, by the way, this cable. Right in the middle of the range. All right, 50, go. That's all she's got. That's everything, it's pinned. 69, 70 miles an hour, that's it. Look, if you're gonna be doing a lot of highway riding, I, I cannot recommend this bike. But if you're, if you're doing back road country stuff like this and, and a little bit of trail riding, you know, not, nothing hardcore, no like enduro trails, no trials, things like that. But if you're just gonna hit the dirt, you know, and then hit the road. It's it's a true 50-50 bike. I would definitely recommend replacing the back tire though if you're gonna do a lot of off-roading, especially muddy stuff. Uh, you'll see in another video where I took this off-road and it was a little bit muddy that I dropped this thing. It's no speed demon. And I can't emphasize that, you know, enough. 
don't don't buy this bike expecting it to be this this performance machine. It's not a KTM 300 XC. That's a completely different bike. That's a two-stroke, you know, enduro essentially. I just love the fact that the service intervals are 8,000 miles. I don't even keep bikes 8,000 miles. Come around this corner. I'll do the same zero to 60 run I did with the KTM. And it gets the speed to 60, you know, I, I would say five and a half seconds-ish. Um, so not, not terrible, but if anything after 60, you're struggling. Come on, guys. So what do I use this bike for? I use it for around town, you know, going to the convenience store real quick, hopping on and going um you know, just around town stuff honestly. There's one video I want to do and I think it's you're going to be surprised here. So I've got a Vespa GTS 300, 300 cc, so, you know, same size engine. Uh, that's got like a CVT transmission. I'm pretty sure that that Vespa will smoke this thing in a zero to 60, smoke it. Uh, and we're gonna put that to the test. But that's it for now, thanks guys.